Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you about if statements on Roblox. Okay, so if statements are really important in programming, and all they mean is you check if a condition is true, and if it is, then you do something. So I'll just create a new script under server script service, and let's just name this if statements. And I'll start by showing you how to write an if statement. So your keyword for this is if, and then after if, you're gonna give a condition. So right now, we could just say if one equals one. And we'll say if one equals two equals two one, and that just makes sure you're not setting one to one, you're checking if one is equal to one. And then your next word is then. So if one is equal to one, which obviously is true, then we're gonna do whatever code is in here. So we'll print true. Now, as you see, I know you guys all know that one is equal to one, but we want the computer to know that. So if we just play the game, you'll see it'll print true. Now, if we change that if statement, instead of saying one equal to one, we say if one is equal to two, let's see what happens. It's not gonna print true. Now, in this case, it's not true, the condition, so it's not going to do this. So what we want to do is say else, and that means if 1 is not equal to 2, then we're going to do the code underneath else. So we'll print false. And now if we run it, you'll see it prints false. So if statements can be used to check if any condition is true or false, I, we learned about variables in a previous video, and you can use variables in if statements. So we could say local name equals Wyatt, and now what we can do is say if name is equal to equal to Wyatt, then print hi Wyatt. And as you'll see, if we go into the game, it'll say, Hi Wyatt. But now, if we change that first name to maybe George, just like this, and then we go in, you see it's not going to print Hi Wyatt because that condition is not true. We can handle that if it's not true by just saying, Else print Hi Other Person, right? Because we don't know what that other name is but we know it's not Wyatt so we go in and you'll see we'll say hi other person now we know that it's another person but at this point we don't know who it is so if we want to check if it's a specific other person we can use something called else if and all we have to do for that is say we'll rewrite this if name equals Wyatt then we'll print hi Wyatt as before but, maybe we don't want to say if it equals anything else, we want to say if it specifically equals George, we could say else if name equals George, and else if, else if is our keyword in there, then we can print hi George. And as you'll see, if we go into the first time, since our name is currently set as George, it'll say hi George, and then if we go in and we change that, in the if statements, if we change that to Wyatt, and then we go back in, now it'll say, hi Wyatt. Now you can have as many of these else if statements as you want, and you always want to, if you want to, you can have an else statement as well in these, so you could say, else, print, hi, other person. So now if we change this name right here to Bob, Right? That's none of the ones that we specified before. Bob is not equal to Wyatt or George. So it'll say else and it'll do whatever codes in here. So we go into the game and as you'll see right here, it says hi other person. So another use for if statements is to do Boolean variables. So we could say local done equals false. And what we can do here is basically see if we executed some code. So we say local done equals false and then we could print something and then we could say low or we could say done equals true to say okay we've done the print done is true and now we can check to see if done is true so we say if done is equal to equal to true then we'll print done 
Otherwise, with the else, we could say print not done. And as you see, since done is equal to true right here, and we go into the game, done is equal to true, so it'll print done. And then if we hop back out, and then we say done is equal to false, or actually if we just don't even have this and we just leave done as false, it'll do the action, but we didn't set done to true, so it'll say not done. Remember about if statements, they'll be your best friends in the future. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pastebin link in the description for the code shown in this video, and I'll see you later.